Okay, so let's check this out. Be honest, Roy Elton, I'm feeling more intimidated than impressed. This kind of company scares me. Whoa, there's good stuff in there. Be honest, Roy Elton. My main reaction to this is still kind of the same, that it feels like you're you're at a certain height and then you dip down. It's almost like he takes a step and it comes back up. It feels less like a shuffle, like a rearranging of pelvis, butt cheeks, kind of like shuffling around. It's a, it's a interesting big dip and it's accentuated by uh, elbows going down, head going down. There's a lot of stuff going on. Going on and I would keep that adjustment down kind of here but even this seems still a lot like a lot like this area goes down a lot where it feels more like a step like a side step and then settle versus i'm just shuffling around so what i would do is take that out i would really take that out and see and see how flat it is maybe you'll see that man there's, there's not enough in there and we need to put something back. But right now it just feels a bit confusing and reduce this. And again, it's accentuated by elbows as well. Just this weird sudden drop. And no, it's not sudden, I wouldn't say sudden, but it's just a lot for someone that just kind of adjusts. Yeah, other than that, it's cool. I think that definitely helps. You look here on the cup, looking over. That's cool. That's cool. This seems almost a bit long. That stair. Because the thing is, you're having stair, stair, stair. Look over. Stair, stair, stair. It's very, um, it's very repetitive. So I would do this. Look over. And then we're also pretty far over in terms of pupils. That we're starting to almost lose them. So I would go this way. And then boom dart over so that you know, this pupil draw this is going to be closer to us. We see more of his eyes. You can go over, hold a bit, go down, up again. Just a bit more thought process. It's like he's scanning. He's scanning the area. Is anything around there? That's why he's looking around, right? He looks at the cup, at the guy. All right. Well, let me check out. Okay, no one's here. Okay, what about here? Let's pretend this is like a wall could be right over. There's not that much to scan. He sees this is clear, looks over. And it's a big area and I scanning, scanning, scanning. No one's around until boom, looks here. And then it's just there for the guy. And I wish, I wish you had more frames because you're starting this nice arc and I wish there would be just a bit more to settle, just to finish. Whoop, and we cut out. I wish there was more and I'm not sure what you can do with your sound. I don't know if you have um, an extension on your dialogue piece, it's just a bummer. All right, I'm looking at fingers as well. It's cool to have a little adjustment. Careful, like your thumb is even moving. So it seems like a lot is moving unless you're twisting, you're twisting the cup in his fingers. But then I would maybe put some texture on there that shows us what's going on as a kind of a visual help. Otherwise, it seems a bit busy. Like there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, you could always leave these two and mostly this and just adjust these fingers. For a tighter grip uh but letting go is cool and then watch out your cup weird I don't know what that sound is uh that cup when you move over here it might just be me but there's a slight feeling of going up and not just to the right this is probably just me or the resolution that i'm looking uh, at but just watch out other hand There's some good stuff there careful though when you have elbow going down and at the same time your wrist going down it's a weird counter where you end up with a section being almost stuck in space and then this lifting it's a bit of a weird counter move that feels like it starts and stops at the same time I would kind of switch it out where that move comes first then this and a bit less and if possible resting that wrist area there a bit more just for weight careful how much you change it after that because you're like you're starting to intersect a bit there 
this feels a bit swimmy. If I'm looking at this area and the fingers, and how the wrist turns and the fingers are moving. Whoa, all of this here. It feels very, very spliny, very swimmy. That feels better. The grasp at the end feels better. There's some interesting interaction there. Yeah, so for this, I would do more pauses in between, you know, some faster moves here and there, just give it a bit more texture, but mostly just contrast and movement, where this just feels like three, four keys blind together. It's definitely better than what you had before. It's just a bit too soft and too spliny. Same thing with this move here. This is weird. I'm sitting, putting my fingers down first, then this, then this. And then I go up with the wrist while I adjust my fingers. But all of this is so spliny and soft. You just don't move fingers so softly and slowly. Yeah, that seems a bit too spliny. Otherwise, it's just those, those two moments that I think are a bit weird. But movement in relationship to the head and stuff is cool. Nice accents there. Watch out, just this move here. A bit straight. Oh, uh, your nose. See, when your nose is here, that path seems pretty straight. Look at that. So don't forget to add your nice arcs in there. So otherwise, it feels like you're going over there, stop, and you come back. It seems a bit too simple. Cool. Yeah, I just wish that, that would arc at the end. I'm feeling more intimidated than impressed. This kind of company. Watch out. This kind of when you have, boom, this, uh, this, this kind of, this kind, when you have corners of the mouth, boom, shoot out over two frames and then bam, lock, and then do nothing. So, you want to ease into it a bit more. They can shoot over one frame if needed for, for, for a big pop and, you know, whatever word you want to accentuate. But then it's still muscles firing and then overshooting and relaxing. Like they wouldn't really stop on a dime. Be honest, Royalton. Be honest, Royalton. Spinning is better. I'm feeling more intimidated than impressed. Good stuff there. Royalton. I'm feeling more I'm feeling... Might just be my playback. I need to check in with the program, but your your smacking sounds late or looks late. I'm feeling more intimidated than impressed. Because the rest, more intimidated than impressed. the impressed seems pretty spot on. Maybe a frame earlier, but that seems pretty spot on. That's why this was late. So I don't get to playback. I'm feeling more intimidated than impressed. This kind of company scares me. A company scares. So now for scare, I would open that up. Because you have all that that build up and then scares me. Like that's for me the big contrast moment. So for that, I would probably open the jaw a bit more. Scares me. Scares me. I don't know if you can bring in one more frame, like lower, uh, lower the jaw while keeping the lips closed. Scares me. It's just the M feels very soft. Scares me. And it might just be too long, but right now it just feels like it just arba, 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 like you're just kind of chewing something versus it scares me, like just holding that M. Scares me, scares me, it scares me. And then doing, scares me. Doing this lift, I think. This, this kind of company scares me. You could potentially, since you are opening up brows, just open um, I mean open the eyes lower the lower eyebrows um, the lids sorry the lids the lower eyebrows the lids just a bit because this lower area feels a bit stiff so all of this is not much going on if anything and a company scares me it's from more, a bit more of a flavor and, and flare in his eyes scares me and then on the down this is not too bad, right? And then when you go down to here, I will bring this corner down a bit more. Now he seems almost concerned. Whereas it's like, okay, uh, you know, he's pretty confident here. Like, huh? 
and then it should almost get not evil but a bit more serious and this feels a bit too concerned i'm gonna bring in those corners a bit more and again you can bring back the, the lower lids just up a bit more more compression but if you do that every time you do compression stuff with the lower lids you want to activate your cheeks you know the muscles there it's the muscles that go up that bunch the eye uh, lids so you don't want to do any lid stuff without any cheek stuff and then for detail uh, you do have some nose stuff yeah i would work on that let's go with that all right thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.